Hi, I've come to the beautiful country of Sri Lanka as part of a team that's going to be making a unique journey. Over the next three weeks we'll be cycling and walking hundreds of miles from coast to coast. Starting here on the west coast beaches, uh, going inland through small villages into the rainforest, climbing high mountains, seeing tea plantations, waterfalls, lots of wildlife. It's going to be so good. This is the Sri Lanka good production. Is it? Yeah. Coconut. Coconut. Broom stick, broom stick, brushes. Yeah. Make it. Yeah. Something like this. Need the broom. Oh, I see. It's a broom. Yeah, yeah broom. Oh, it's rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> rope. It's just starting to rain a little bit. It's very refreshing, actually. No problem cycling in it. Wow, Tara. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. Oh, that's the lovely yeah. string. <laughs> nice. Yeah, look. We compare the Malaysian, but this is Zealand. <laughs> It's a fresh yeah, one. Fresh one, no? We collect the... Oh, I see, yeah. There's the rubber the coming rubber. down. <laughs> you get such a good view from this height. Wow, what a balcony. Wow, what a view. Oh.
was another incredible day of biking yesterday and to finish it with bathing the elephant in the river as I came out of the water I was literally shaking it was a very overwhelming experience uh, beautiful beautiful and today's going to be good too we've just set out on a six hour walk through the jungle we've already seen elephant and we've only been going half an hour we saw chameleons lots of wild fruit growing everywhere on the, on the trees it's, Ah. More fruit. Oh. Oh, look at that pineapple. There it is. Mm, so good. Oh, hello! <laughs> I don't know. Go to the other side. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Just taking on some sustenance. We've got a big climb now. It's certainly been a tough climb, 2,000 feet so far, magnificent scenery, three of the team have got back in the van, it's very hot, but uh, I just love being out here, I'm not going to get back in the van for anything, look at this. There in the distance is Bible Rock, as we started at that base earlier today. What a view. So that was the tough bit, now for the fun. Briefly forgot what side of the road I was meant to be driving on then. Oops. cycling back through Gompala. We came through this way yesterday. It was very busy then because the roads were full of parents picking up their kids from school. But now it's a different time of day. There's hardly any traffic really. It's really easy cycling. Ah, oh, jackfruit. This is the jackfruit. 
just tried to lift it, it must be about 10 or 15 kilos I reckon. I can't lift it like that. Yeah, yeah about 15 kilos. Imagine if that fell from the tree on your head. <laughs> well, hey, goodbye, see you. Come again. Okay. Such a good road, there's no potholes at all, hardly any traffic, just so enjoyable, great biking. Hello! Kitagala rest house, we're going to join the locals for a swim down there. Jungle fowl, oh, in the baby one, jungle fowl, in the national bird in Sri Lanka. Where did it? Where did it? Oh, it weighs Time ago, I came about eighteen years ago. This cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a very relaxing stay here for us at Kifugala. The cast from the bridge on the River Choir film stayed here also. This room here was where Jack Hawkins and Alec Guinness slept. There we go. Especially nice is the view from the restaurant. I'll show you that. Just look at this view. Are you? Yes. 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 Are you?
Right, soon we're going to come to the end of the road, then we're going to stay with a local family and tomorrow we'll start our two day climb to the summit of Adams Peak. That was a tough ride but we finally arrived at the place that we're staying. Here's the shower. Chicken coop. I'll take you inside. It's very hard to find places nowadays where people aren't well used to Western tourists. But this is one of them. I've been told that we're the first Western guests here ever. We feel very privileged actually. <laughs> Thank you. I love some. Thank you. Mango. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Just getting ready to face all the leeches. You've got to put sun cream on everywhere. So if they try and bite you, then they'll slip off. Putting some tiger balm on now. Getting the leeches. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, go, go, go. Okay, go. thanks. You can't stop walking. Even if you do walk, they're still going to get you, but loads more would get you if you stopped. Wow. What, just a quick leech check? Yeah, check and oh. apply the... Oh. the no, no, oh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Only a very few villagers walk this route up to Adams Peak, no tourists at all. So the leeches can't get much food. Just as we're passing, I can see them lifting themselves up off the leaves very excitedly like this. And then you pass and poor leeches, if they can cook any food for another month or so. A leech there. Yeah. 
Three, three. Yeah. At the start of the climb I was a bit fearful of the leeches but now I was thinking well we're making this trek up to a Buddhist shrine perhaps we should be more considerate of our fellow creatures think of it like donating blood something like that Oh really? Yeah, it's the yeah, elephant way? Oh. Okay. That's the elephant's path? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, it's dung. Oh wow. Oh yeah, the elephant's ball. Just seen a couple of leeches disappear into my shoe. I think I'm going to leave them be for a while. <laughs> Well, we just reached the main road, so we're going to empty out our shoes, send the leeches back, and uh, carry on up to the peak. I say main road, it's not really a main road. This is the main road. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> a good journey? That was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. Did you get, did you get many leeches? leeches? I got one. <laughs> did you? One leech. You got one each. Yeah, yeah lucky, lucky. lucky. Time for dinner. Hot bread and curry, I think. Oh, we've got something similar in the Thanks, Alec. Great. Thanks, mate. Here's the old steps cut into the rock. Here's the new steps. Much easier to handle. This one. This is newly built one. Not long Wow, we're near the peak now. Peaks up there in the mist. There's the peak we're aiming for. We made it almost. Final push. It's so steep. You've got to lean forward. My pack's quite heavy. I don't want to fall backwards at this stage. I can hear the bell being chimed on top. Every person who comes up here is going to ring the bell. There's a strong smell of vegetation now. It's very natural and lovely. I think we're here. Give me five. I'm going to let you know. 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 I'm going to
been a tough climb even on this easy route some people couldn't manage it up and down and these guys in front are carrying somebody down <laughs> hey <laughs> good luck to you oh that's a great view isn't it nice Cycling again. Wow. We're halfway across the island now. Two of our team flew back to England this morning. We're carrying on. We've got one or two days more of up and down through tea estates and forests, and then it's uh, flat all the way to the east coast. We just 
cycling through a tea plantation at the moment, and this is it. Tea. That's it. There's Adam's Peak. That's the peak we just climbed. What a view. That's the Glen Cairn estate over there. That's where Julia Margaret Cameron used to live and she's buried just there as well. That's where we're staying tonight. Good job, thank you, LH. Here, the grave of Julia Margaret Cameron, one of England's most famous photographers. It's a very quiet spot in the middle of the Tea Estates. It's a small Tamil Anglican church now with about a hundred congregation. It's difficult to know where to start filming and where to stop. Everywhere is so beautiful. It's been like this for three hours today.
that was a brilliant downhill stretch and for me it was the best part of the journey so far it's beautiful scenery no traffic and as you went through the jungle areas there was this magnificent noise can you hear it now it's the cicadas never ceases to astound me. This morning we had the most glorious scenery of tea estates, mountains, then we've just ridden through a eucalyptus forest, now, now we're in a pine forest. This noise all around is magnificent and we've got a 10 kilometre downhill until the hotel. It's just the best riding ever. Thanks for late. That, that was a fantastic day. Yeah. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, what a nice place. Wow. This is good. You know, I don't mean any disrespect to anywhere else in the world, but that's got to be one of the best days biking anywhere. I mean, the scenery was tremendous. The tea estates, the mountains, the forests, and then there was the cultural experience of the of the lads drumming, of seeing all the ladies picking tea. Wow, and then to come on that final downhill, that was just awesome. And now we're in this fantastic hotel. It's just like every day is even better than the last and you just don't think it can get any better. It's fantastic.
Duty, thank you. Bye, bye, thank you. See you. So today's route is about 20k on this main road, fairly uphill, beautiful scenery though. And then it's going to be 25k downhill all the way to Coslander. Called belly mal, belly mal. You take yeah. one piece and then take little and then crush it and then mix it in the mouth. But not mm. too much taste. That's all. Mm. Because the belly That's was yeah. a huh? healthy. Taste and flowers. Yes. Me, talaga. That sweetens it. Yeah. Bit sweet. Hey, you want to find It's quality. Hey, find your day. Fair enough. Find your day and do that. <laughs> Just had a great lunch and now we've got a 5k downhill so I'm going to fix my camera and bring you along for the ride.
That's me. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's, that's very so nice. nice. Thank you very much. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, what a treat. Oh, thank you for a lovely welcome. <laughs> Delightful. Thank you. It looks like luxury. Look at that. stretch we just dropped a thousand meters in 35 kilometers at the top of the pass it was 25 degrees and now down here it's 41 it's very hot and it's going to be this way until we reach the east coast Quite unusual riding out here. The road surface is so hot that if you go too slow, you can feel your tyres sticking to it. You've got to keep your speed up. Time for a lunch stop now, though. You that up one of them. Dry zone really reminds me of Central Africa. It's very hot, very, very hot. But very green and lush as well. start today we've got 90 kilometers to go to Ampara we thought we'd beat the heat it's due to be 42 degrees later it's hard to imagine that sort of heat but you kind of even when you step out at this early hour you're a bit intimidated by it all just got to put the, the bags in the van and we'll get going oh thanks thanks Siri we'll get that oh. thank you 
That's where we're going, Ampara, 90 kilometers. Cycling across Sri Lanka has given me a great opportunity to see just how abundant in life the island is. Everywhere you look, food's growing. Now, this is just a general roadside scene, and here you can see there's papaya, there's banana, there's manioc, there's a coconut palm up there, there's a jackfruit tree over there, there's stalls selling fresh fruit absolutely everywhere. It's great because back in England, you rarely see where your food's coming from. It's always from a factory somewhere. But here I can see it all around me and I love it. It makes everything feel just a little bit more real, you know? Lunch stop. Cheers. Just gonna drink it all in one go. Yes. The same one. We just had a very refreshing king coconut each back there. Coconuts are always a good standby. If you can't find a restaurant that you like the look of, stop at a fruit stall and have a coconut. It's not going to be bad for you. Good ride. <laughs> wow. That was a fantastic day of cycling. It didn't seem like 90k. It went past really quickly and we finished it here in Ampara. We've got a beautiful room and I'm going to make use of this shower right away.
How you doing? in a Muslim area right now. There's not much difference to everywhere else. It's just that there's a few domes and minarets and mosques and people wear head coverings but everyone's just as friendly. What a great sight. We've got the lagoon and the mountains on this side and our first view of the ocean over there. We made it to the coast. We're just cycling through Katankodi. It's the longest town in Sri Lanka. Four kilometers from one end to the other. Got some leaves there. That 70 kilometres went past really quickly, it was a fantastically fast road. And now we're at the Hotel East Lagoon in Batacola. Fantastic location, look. And the ocean's out there. Lovely, I'm going to enjoy this place, that's for sure. Hi! It's Friday, so they're making milk rice to give out to pilgrims as they come to the temple. Set to go. 
The final six kilometres. Cow on the road. Final three kilometres into Pasakuda now. Lovely stretch of road. Palm trees everywhere, cool breeze, and now and again I can see the ocean. Oh, cow. Hello. Lovely. What a place to finish a trip. Look at this. No matter Completed. <laughs> Did it. Now there's only one thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, needed to say, the old cliche, it's like a bath in here, I'm going under. <laughs> it's going to take me a few weeks to process this journey, I think. It's just been amazing. For now, I think I'm just going to enjoy it. Wow, you ran to it. How fantastic.